it's your boy again Chris here back with some more um Chris wrestling um videos today today you guys are gonna be doing my WWE um the first Tuesday night NXT of the year you guys uh so I want to you know I want to jump into it talk about the show uh even though the show wasn't you know great as like as it normally was but you know at the same time they at least you know you know, had some wrestling going on on Tuesday night, you know, to start off with. Because, you know, everyone knows that Russell at NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver are either, um, you know, they either took, like, last night off or whatever because today is Wednesday. So, I'm doing my video a little bit late. So, if I was them, then I would have took my time off as well. But, I want, let's go ahead and jump into it right now, you guys. The opening of WWE NXT um, on Tuesday last night. Uh, Karen Cross places every NXT superstar on notice and saying they will all fall to him. And, and you know, of course, we didn't see Finn Balor last night. You know, we didn't see any of those superstars last night at all, you guys. And so, you know, I'm like, I'm like, well, I guess maybe they'll be back next week. And we'll, you know, we'll see everything goes but Karen Cross my thoughts him about being NXT champion Karen Cross is a great superstar you guys in my opinion uh, I remember when they had when they had gave him the name Killer Cross when he was over in Impact Wrestling uh, he was a great performer then and still a great performer now and uh, hopefully you know he'll be hopefully he'll reign as uh, NXT uh, you know champions um, you know for a good little while um, also, I want to be jumping to something else you guys I want to talk about a little bit later, um, you know, here in my video uh, as regards to um, a, what a backstage thing that happened. But I'll let you know uh, when I get to that. All right. So on um, the first match last night, you guys was uh, MSK, the new NXT Tag Team Champions, the winners of the Tag Team Dusty Cup, MSK uh, versus Killian Dane and Drake Maverick. Uh, MSK ends up um, MSK ends up winning. Uh, you know, did did like the you know their tag team move where uh, I think it's uh, what I think Wesley goes over for like a net breaker or something, and then they picked up the victory uh, over Killian Dane and Drake Maverick. I gave that a two point four simply because we already knew that MSK was going to win. Sometimes they sometimes they really pull surprises, but then again, last night they didn't pull. You know any surprise at all so you know i'm like i'm like well you know that's great so um so we're definitely gonna see who will be in line for the um nxt tag team titles uh you know soon here uh, i can't think of any um other team right now off the top of my head but we'll definitely see how it will go all right so um uh second match that happened last night you guys which was mercedes martinez uh, versus Covea. Mercedes Martinez uh, wins, you know, with her finisher that she does or whatever. Um, Mercedes, um, you know, was looking for Robert Stone and because Robert Stone owed her money. And that's when she got her money from Robert Stone. And then she walks up to the NXT announce team table and and she basically, she was basically saying that she wants um, Raquel G Gonzalez NXT Women's Championship. And I guess we'll, we're definitely going to see how Raquel Gonzalez is going, you know, is going to, you know, respond uh, hopefully next week or maybe the week after on NXT Tuesday. So I'm definitely ready to see. Um, I know these two will definitely tear the house down. Mercedes Martinez I haven't seen her in a good little while, probably a couple of weeks or maybe a month or two now. I don't know. But anyways, um... But with that, you guys, I mean, I uh, want to watch the next NXT TakeOver show. So we'll definitely see how this will um, all play out. And I gave that match a 1.6 uh, simply because we already we already can see that Mercedes Martinez last night, that she wanted to be that person to face, um, well, wants to be first in line to face, um, Merce uh, to face Raquel Gonzalez. Well, also, you guys, I want to mention in this part as well, uh, Io Shirai, she's possibly getting called up to the main roster. I don't know whether it's going to be, in a, I, mean, I don't know whether it's going to be Raw or whether it's going to be SmackDown, but more than likely, she'll probably end up on Monday Night Raw. 
All right, but anyway, I just wanted to get that out. I got some more as well. All right, third match, you guys, which was, um, um, well, third thing that happened, then the match happened. Uh, Eric Escobar and Legado del Fantasma comes out talking about, uh, you know, a championship win and say he will, you know, he uh, he called out anybody to uh, come to challenge him. Uh, Kushida ends up um, answering uh, his open challenge. Es so it came down to Escobar versus uh, Kushida. Uh, San uh, er let's see, Santos uh, hits the backbreaker. Um, and then after then, uh, let's see, who was it? Santos Escobar picks, you know, picks him back up. Then, uh, you know, he dodges and rolls in. Well, they do like a like a roll up pin type thing or whatever. And then after then, that's when Kushida rolled back over it and uh, rolled up the um in the undisputed NXT Cruiserweight Champion, um, Santo Escobar. So your winner and new WWE Cruiserweight Champion, um, uh, is no other than Kushida. It was you know it was a pr it was one of the best matches they had on the card last night, you guys. Uh, I have to say the least. Um, you know, that was basically the main event because, you know, like I said, all the other superstars that you seen on NXT take over Stand Deliver Tuesday and, uh, well, not Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday night, you know, they're probably, you know, healing up, um, working out, taking time away, you know, from the ring and whatnot. But, you know, then again, um, but because she do, like I said, it's your new uh, Cruiserweight champion. I really wanted to see Escobar retain that title, but you know, it kind of gave a little different to the show. That match right there, I gave it a uh, 3.5, you guys, because like I said, it was the best match of the show. Um, also, you guys, before I mention this last thing that happened at the end of the show, um, we seen Roderick, well, I don't know if you guys wa watched NST last night or not, but there was a thing with Roderick Strong where him and his uh, wife or girlfriend uh, came with some paperwork and, um, William Rico said, you sure you want to do this? And he was like, um, he didn't say nothing. And then he said, you're welcome back to NXT at any time. So this possibly means that Roderick Strong has been called up. And more than likely, we may see Roderick Strong on SmackDown or Raw. But more than likely, I myself personally, I would love to see him on a Friday night SmackDown. Um, you know, it was really nothing left for him to do, you know, in NXT. I mean, his team was broken up. Um, and so hopefully we'll definitely get some tag teams from NXT over to the um, main roster Friday night, uh, Friday night SmackDown and Monday Night Raw. But let me know your thoughts and your opinions over that, guys. Uh, but the ending, you guys, which was Raquel uh, came out talking about her process winning the championship. Uh, Frankie Monet. Uh, the one that had a puppy that we've been seeing for the past two week, well, past week or two, uh, she can't. She she basically came out, interrupted them, and you know, and so on and so forth. After them, Rhea Ripley makes her surprising, um, you know, appearance on uh, NXT last night, and after then, you guys, we also had the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair herself. And then there was a picture, you guys, where where it was Bianca Belair. Raquel Gonzalez and um and let's see Bianca Belair, Raquel Gonzalez, and uh Rhea Ripley. They were, they had a took a picture when I can't, I think it was like when they first started, all started NXT together, and I was like, wow, and look at them now. They are on top of the mountain, the main um show people. I mean, it was incredible, you guys. But like I said, that was your NXT um review of mine. I'll let you know that what I thought about the show last night. Uh tonight you guys we got and we got AEW Dynamite coming on. So make sure you check out that. I'll be doing my review over that one as well. Uh stay tuned for more uh my Chris Wrestling um news and all that good stuff overall professional wrestling company well promotions and all that stuff you guys and um make sure y'all subscribe to my channel make click make sure you click that notification bell make sure you click that like button and subscribe to my channel make sure you tell everyone to subscribe i mean everyone you guys view all my other content uh that i'm gonna put here at the end of the video click on my playlist and um, also click on my recent videos to where you can hear me talk about the recent WrestleMania, me, get, me gave my view and 
you know, all my other stuff on there as well. Um, also down in the description box, you guys, you can find me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, and to follow me on Twitter, it's Chris, K-H-R-I-S-W, as in water, V, uh, as in Victor, 9. Make sure you follow me on Twitter there, you guys. And, um, you know, I really do appreciate everything you all do. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching Chris Russell Views here on YouTube.com.